Hello, this is the Cassette Master here, and today we'll be making a video about a very common item that everyone is familiar with, the battery. Except in this video, we take things up a notch with the batteries. So, what do you think about the batteries that we'll be showing in this video? Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the shock. It's pretty shocking, as you're going to be seeing. Yeah. <laughs> you may not think very much at first when you see these standard batteries, size D and size C. And amongst these, you'll see the most intense corrosion is just a little bit of rust from this d size battery here, which will still provide power. But you already saw in the background, and here we have it. Check out these three Rayovac batteries. Just because a battery is still good does not mean it can't corrode. These three batteries all were still able to provide power when they were taken out of portable reel to reel tape recorders whenever I realized that they were corroding. The middle one is not as intense, but the ones on the outside really, really show some real intense battery corrosion. Just look at this dark, badly lit battery. Just look at that. That is remarkable. So much corrosion, it's even pushing the battery off of where it is sitting with corrosion. Called corrosive force. <coughs> oh, it's just bad. I don't even want to touch these things. And we get over here into this one. Let's get a little bit more views of this particular cell. You'll see the different layers of corrosion. You'll see over here how the corrosion, the labels kind of pull, peeled off to the side and it's allowing the corrosion to pour on through. It's just remarkable to see the battery corrosion here on these cells. But wait, there's more. Here is a 9 volt battery unlike any other 9-volt battery you've ever seen. Expired in January of 2002. Just see how much the plastic on each side has been pushed out and absolutely devastated by corrosion. It's an absolute incredible thing to witness the degree of battery corrosion on this 9 volt alkaline battery. Look at that. Isn't that just insane? Some years ago I was at a estate sale and found an old set of shock collars. It had a radio controlled remote device where you could push a button to activate a remote shock collar to shock your dog to train him. It has a battery charger with this plug on it. And one of the shock collars made sense. You plug in the charger onto the shock collar and inside you could see the circuitry there damaged by corrosion including the epoxy dipped high voltage portion. You can see how corrosion has taken its toll on the circuit board and of course there's the culprit rechargeable battery pack right there. You can see inside the case of that shock color piece all that remnant corrosion. So the two shock colors were different one had the place to hook up the charger and the circuit board inside. The other one was completely different. It did not have an area to hook up the charger. It just had two shocking terminals. 
and is a big mystery to me as to exactly how it was done. You can see it also has epoxy inside which would suggest possibly the presence of high voltage electronics. Note that the epoxy is hard. Yet, I'm curious and wonder if there are some kind of batteries inside there which over time has formed these crystals some of them exposed but most of the crystals are literally beneath the epoxy any chemists out there I'd love to know a little bit more about what's go maybe going on it's a pretty fascinating thing to see apparently corrosion crystals produced underneath hard epoxy it's a most strange and bizarre phenomenon I don't know who manufactured the dog system but it's a model 280 DT I hope you enjoyed the video of these, do or of these batteries and their extreme corrosion